enthusiast to drive fast and to get paid for doing it. Well, we've got the guy who's living the dream. Please welcome Ryan Vera, Indy car driver, born and raised here in Calgary, yes? Yeah, that's correct. So how does a guy, Kate, who uh, graduates or you went to Beaverbrook High School, Yeah. how does a guy like this all of a sudden make it to the Indy circuit? Well, we were just talking Mario Kart. Mario Kart, <laughs> yeah. Is that really how it started for you? <laughs> Some of it, yeah, because I didn't start in karting like all, all the other yeah. drivers, so I jumped into Mario Kart, worked my way up to jump in the race car. Why race car? Why racing Indy? Why not do the NASCAR thing where you can bounce into people? Because it's the hardest one. It's the most challenging one. Which is different from it? Open wheel racing is uh, probably the most dangerous racing in the world um, because the wheels are open. They're able to touch and flip the cars. Um, the fuel cells behind our back so we can burst on fire mm -hmm. easier. Um, our suits are good for 10 seconds with a triple air Nomex. Um, we're, we're doing a lot of elevation changes, uh, turning up and down, hitting two, three, four Gs. You know, in a race, we'll lose like three or four pounds just from the just from the cardio workout from it, mental exhaustion. Yeah. It's it's quite difficult. We're doing it. Uh, we can't we can't touch and bump and rub like NASCAR. If so we do that, we're out. So Ryan, it's not only about the speed, but it's also the skill involved in driving the vehicle. Yeah, I would Although think, you're reaching, uh, would you say Mach two, Mach three? I mean, we, we hit about two, three, four Gs on corners. Jeez, man. Times a gravitational force, yeah. So, gotta you, stay fit. You gotta be a skilled driver, and you gotta stay fit. So you're right. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's it's a lot different. We're uh, maneuvering in between cars. Where you gotta keep your focus the whole time. And when you get fatigued, you start making mistakes. And when you make mistakes, that's when people pass you. Mm -hmm. So it's basically about keeping focus the whole time, not making mistakes, and knowing where you are. What? Just how long are the races? Um, close, so close, close to an hour if, yeah. you, if you finish. Yeah, yeah, there's quite a few crashes. Some races, one third of the field will crash. So staying in there is a big deal. So here you are saying to yourself, do you say to your parents, hey, mom, dad, this is what I want to do? Did you, were you watching TV or something? Like, what, what, was, what, what brought you in? What um, sucked you into this, this great sport? I don't know. I was, I was walking down the street one day. I tripped and fell into a race car. <laughs> Basically, I don't know. I, it's just something I always wanted to do, and it, it looked really hard. Yeah. It's something I wanted to challenge. It's, it was a dream, and uh, I mean, I'm a go getter. YOLO, right? I heard that on a rap video, and sure. I was like, that's what this is. Yeah. Go for your dream. And I, I saw it inspiring a lot of people around me. So that, that kept me motivated to keep doing it. And it's inspiring people like, oh, we can do, we can do anything. We can change our lives. We can go do this and that. And it's cool. It's, it's good feedback loop. So I keep doing it. And, mm -hmm. The sound, the, the, the adrenaline rush, what is it that really gets you going when you, when you sit and when you put yourself in that indie car, man? What is it that does it for you? Before the race, during the race, before the setup, there's nerves. There's always nerves. There's no driver that's not scared. We're always scared all the time, no matter if we've been doing it for 20 years. And uh, you get in the race and it's all focused and you're actually on autopilot. Like, you're not consciously driving because you're going too fast. After the race, after you survive it all, it's pure bliss. It's mm -hmm. like you're at a mental high that's just beautiful. You know, you feel like you can do anything sharp, better, faster, and you just want to do it again. Yes. You had a scare, a recent scare. You had uh, some eye surgery done. You said something wrong with your arm as well, too. Yeah. You got to a point where you almost said to yourself, I may not be doing this anymore. Yeah, I mean, the mental aspect, psychological aspect of anything, uh, 80% psychological, 20% mechanical. And I got to a point where I thought my eye wasn't going to heal. My, I had nerve damage and it was just a negative feedback in my head and I had to beat that. That, yeah. was, that was a big challenge I had to beat and get over. And I mean, to do that, I, I jumped in a race car in Brazil and got back out there. So it was okay. a big... And you're big, competing again soon? Yeah, I'll be back in Brazil next month uh, in Genoa, Brazil, competing with the Formula 3 Series, which is a feeder series up to Formula 1. You also do some charity work. Yeah, I do do what I can. A lot of charity work, actually. Yeah, yeah. I like giving back to the community. Um, this community, Calgary, is an amazing city. I mean, when the floods happened, everyone was down there helping. I ran into friends from high school, I you know, helping building houses. Um, cancer is a big thing. One in seven of us die of cancer, so I'm a big supporter of cancer research in Canada. Um, I mean, more people will die of cancer than racing cars. So who's the crazy one? Yeah. Right? Do some modeling as well, too, were you? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing some modeling with uh, eye model management. Yeah. yeah. You gotta keep yourself busy. Gotta keep busy. I mean getting out there, you know, on, on the runway and charity shows and that's it's just something you gotta be, just like getting in the race car. 
Yeah, yeah. Just, you can't imagine doing anything else, couldn't you? Not now. I'm, I'm hooked for life. Once you get in that car, you, you don't want to do anything else. Right, right. Um, what's, uh, so November, November is your next big race. What are you hoping? What's your long-term goal? Um, Where are you taking this thing? To be honest, I can... I can say I want to be the Indy 500 champion or be Formula 1 champion, but I learned to take one race at a time, every yeah. race at a time. So I want to get on the podium every time. I want to win, win the race every time. I want to do the best I can every race and keep going. But I want to do this until I can't do it anymore. Like I, I want to go all the way. Well, look for this guy. He is Calgary-born, Calgary-raised. His name is Ryan Vera, IndyCar driver. Thank you, Ryan. Good luck in November. We're looking uh, for some big bright things for uh, the you. future, man. Thank Great you. to have you on board. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Hey, here's what's happening in and around our city. Yes, we are keeping busy for the Fire Prevention Week. It is beginning, well, it continues until the 11th. Working smoke alarms saves lives